Hi guys, welcome to Tukin Tarot. Um, blimey, it's been a while since I've done my last video. So much has been going on in the world. Um, sending huge love and light to all of you, um, wherever you are. Let me know where you are actually in the world um, by leaving a comment below. Um, but welcome to today's reading. So, pick a card, or pick a crystal rather, and we didn't pick a crystal, um, and this is a love reading, just a, a full-on love reading. So, um, first of all we have crystal one, crystal two, and crystal three. So what I would like you to do, guys, um, pop these here, is I'd like you to take a moment, and I want you to take five deep breaths in. So, five deep, deep breaths. And while you're doing that, I'd like you to think about um, the, the person you're perhaps thinking about and um, which crystal resonates with you. Again, we have number one, number two, number three. Great, you can find the timestamps in the comments um, below and enjoy. And again, do comment, let me know where you are in the world. Brilliant. So, to start with, let's go with crystal number one. This is your reading. And we're looking at who, um, or it's just a love reading. So you're, we're looking at your person of interest, and this is a general love reading. So first of all, we're going to draw some cards. Give these another good shuffle. I've been shuffling all morning, um, but let's give them another one. And we're going to look at the energies surrounding your love. And... Of course, the um, Gateway to the Divine Tarot for that. And then we're going to be using some Lunasol. Oof, shows the cards for us there. With Lunasol, I always read upright um, as the creator of the deck wanted. And the message is in there. And then let's pull some oracle cards. For this, we're going to be using Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel, my absolute favourites. We're going to pull a couple of here um, for advice regarding your love. Also, um, which are new, which I'm so excited about, um, I have some Spirit of the Animal Oracle. I wanted an animal oracle for a while now. Um, this one was kindly gifted to me by my sister. She treats me all the time to all of this kind of stuff. I mean, you should see her tarot deck collection, guys. I'm sure she must have 100 plus decks. It's insane. Um, of course, she does this full time for a living. <laughs> um, that would be why. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, our magic. And then giraffe. Lovely cards. So, let's crack on with this. So we've got Judgment, Hermit reversed, Page of Wands reversed, Swords, more Swords, Queen of Cups, Star, Nice Cups. Right, so, let's have a look. Hmm. So we've got Judgment, Hermit reversed, Page of Wands reversed, Two of Swords reversed. Um, we're looking at their energies at the moment. We're basically seeing someone that's, you know, feeling this person is very down, very down. Um, you know, the Hermit would normally, as an example, stand for um, someone that's seeking inner, you know, the searching almost, but with the reverse, that's telling me that it's almost like a paranoid, you know, this person has been through something and it's almost flipped them, you know, whatever's happened here. Um, I have to say, and I always, guys, you know, my readings, unfortunately, I didn't tell you what you want to hear, I have to say what comes through, not only from spirit, but also in the cards. Um, and my own intuition and um, spirit said it straight away and I hesitated and I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying, I don't know why I hesitate um, this isn't going to work this is someone you're involved with at the moment and I'm just seeing that this is an ending you know this person is done they're done 
they're locking themselves away. Um, there's a very immature spitefulness from them as well, I'm getting. Um, this person is done, you know, and represented, I think you're done, more importantly. Um, you know, looking at your energies down here, um, Ten of Swords, I think you've just had enough. Um, you, it's been really hard for you. And I'm sending so much love and light to you because I really do think, you know, you, you've definitely been through the run of the mill recently. And this person, it, you need to forget about this person, to be quite frank. Um, absolutely forget about them. And when we move towards your energies down here, we've got um, the Ten of Swords, you know, Queen of Cups, Star and the Knight of Cups. And also what um, is coming through as well here um, from my guides is that this is your time and you're ready for it. Like I said, it's not just this case that they're done and they're closed themselves away from you. And remember, there's always a thing about, um, you know, we want what we can't have. And I think because they've distanced as well, there's still a part of you. You know that it should be done, but there's still a part of you that can't let go. Um, however, having said that, you're, at the, you're ready to let go. You're done. You're ready to let go. And there's so much that waits for you if you do. Um, I think definitely the advice coming through is that I think you're going to find um, and be able to do this through giving back and, and through loving others and other things and whether that be community or other people around you um, and you're going to take great joy from that so you know in any way that you can give back right now um, or you know you can help in some way or another I think that you should definitely should because not only will it take your mind off of this horrible situation that you've just been through um but it will really be thought for the the soul for you and and help start the healing process um you know you see here god of the dramas of the past you know you you're still such a shite brining get them all my words my lord up uh, a shite brining light is what i'm seeing and that you even make ruins i mean that's the star all over even make the ruins look beautiful um, but, you know, let go of the dramas that have been um, and look to the stars because this is your time. And we see that with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, also, what I'm hearing here, and, and certainly the Knight of Cups represents as well, actually, what Lutran's saying in that you need to build on your confidence a lot more. I think it's been really knocked down by this um, relationship that you've had here. Um, and, yeah, it's I almost want to push these cards away, you know. That's literally the feeling inside me because... This is just doesn't serve you. This is this this doesn't serve you anymore. And I'm really I say I was about to say I'm really sorry if that you know that's hard to hear. But again, I think you're ready to hear it. You're done and you know that. Um, but yeah, real time to focus on you right now. And um, we've got the Council of Light here um, as the advice card. Divine orchestration, help us in the subtle realm. Darling, you have so many guides and spirit around you right now um, that are looking out for you and guiding you through this time. And I've been told as well that you really need to connect with that more. So um, you need to get grounded a lot more um, and your confidence will come back with grounding and meditation. You need to meditate for sure. And certainly if you haven't connected with your guides yet, that's something you need to do. Even if you do meditate, I'm hearing that you need to do it an awful lot more and it will really help you in this process. And the ever unfolding rose, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. Um, you know, there's a bigger thing at play here and I'm really getting, when I mentioned earlier about the you giving back, I think that's going to turn into something a little bit more. So just start off small, but you know, there's something really beautiful happening for you at the moment. Um, but you need to let this go. And actually, you know, Everything is a lesson in life, and whatever's happened here is going to serve. You know, it's giving you the tools to move forward um, with such great empathy and understanding. Um, it's hard because I don't know exactly what it is that you're going to do, but I know that it's giving back in a very big way, and it's going to unfold into something that you have no idea. But to start with, you've just got to let go, darling, and give, yeah, give yourself some immense healing. Um, and, and start getting out there, start getting out amongst people, community. I know that's very hard right now, of course, um, but, you know, you'll find a way to, to make people smile. Um, that's what I'm getting right now. You need to do that, and that will help you um, immensely. Um, looking at the beautiful, beautiful spirit um, cards here, spirit of the animals. First of all, we've got the owl. Choose to know truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception, 
let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Notice I picked this for the divine masculine and I picked this for the divine feminine. And that's exactly what it's saying about him. I'm going to, or I say him, apologies, that's just my natural um, way I say things. But, um, you know, this is talking about the other person here. Um, so him or her, but it's saying let go. You know, choose to know the truth because you can. Look at the truth of what's just happened here in this relationship. Um, you can see through deception. Let the past go. Make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. And then we've got the giraffe visionary. Rise above, at least is you. Um, rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Oh, I love that. It's just a perfect analogy of everything we just spoke about with you. And I want to raise heavy on what it says here. And love with a big heart. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. You've got a lot of cups here. And this is all about you loving and, and giving your heart. So, um, whether it, again, whether it be people or community, but, oh, you've got a lot of love coming your way. Um, what a lovely mini reading for you. Um, hurtful and hard, but really lovely. And, and that's what, I don't want you to look at this as, oh, bad reading, it's the ending. It's a beautiful reading because of all the joy that you've got coming to you. Um, it really is. It's going to be really hard, but actually... You know, you know this, you know it's right. So I'm literally, oh, I've just got the immense feeling to do this. Going to put all these to this side right now. Oh, and then look how beautiful. This is you. So this is what you need to focus on. Um, amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And um, if you do want any readings, I am actually giving away readings for a donation at the moment. I don't charge for readings. Um, I decided not to do that. Um, because I just love reading and obviously it's building up my skill um, and also, you know, it helps me. I love connecting with my guides. It helps me in that area. Um, but I do ask for a small donation. Um, you can see the link below in my um, description. That links up to my wish list, Amazon wish list. So it's full of cards and, um, and different decks and they're all different prices. So, you know, you can choose your budget. Um, and what you can afford to pay but yeah so if you want another reading let me know i hope this has resonated with you don't forget to subscribe let me know in the comments below and i will speak to you soon take care guys bye bye hi guys this is for those of you that chose crystal number two and this is your love reading so let's pop this up here so first of all we're going to start off and have a look at the energy surrounding the love in your love interest. Give these a really good shuffle. Already have been shuffled lots, but always like to go in again. Have a look. Okay, so we've got Knight of Wands, Two of Coins reversed, Eight of Wands, and Death reversed. And then with that, we're going to be using Gateway to the Divine Tarot, which is this one. I love using this, especially for um, Divine divine Masculine. Um, I say Divine Masculine, you know, the other. <laughs> um, whatever that is, you know, it may be another lady, maybe another guy, if you're a guy watching, whatever relates to you. So, with Luna Sol, always like to read upright. As the creators allowed. Great. And then we're going to use Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel. Some final pieces of advice. That's Star Mother. And we have Fun Play. And also, I'm so happy. Just um, my sister quite generously gifted me these so I'm going to read I wanted um, this particular spirit animal I've got quite a while it's really beautiful um, I have given them again a good shuffle but let's draw a couple now so I'll do that one for this one for yourself 
Right, let's pop these back in and then let's get cracking. Okay, move that out of the way. Bit meticulous when it comes to. Right, let's have a good look what we've got here. Hi, sorry, um, I had to pause that because my cat, who as you may have seen, was around here somewhere, just went nuts and she blew and flipped over the camera. Um, anyway, where were we? Right, so um, crystal number two, and this is your love reading. Um, okay, so straight away my guides are telling me here that you, you, you've had a hard time. Um, you've had a really hard time. I'm just going to be really quite straightforward in this reading. Um, it's not the nicest of readings, but there is loveliness towards the end, so do bear with me. Um, with you dealing, I mean, your love interest, um, you know, the person that this is about for you, quite, well, obviously we've got the Knight of Wands there, really fiery character, um, you know, the kind of person grabs life by the horns, um, raw kind of here in quite an, a, a raw kind of way um he's very frustrated very very frustrated at the moment um feeling very erratic we got, you know getting quite erratic and i'm getting that this person um can perhaps be quite violent as well so really erratic crazy kind of violent and with that this person feels great remorse um great great remorse on what level that is i'm not too sure i'm not getting that through um whether it be physical or mental abuse but there's definitely thinking leanings was more than physical i'm sad to say um there is remorse there he knows what he does but there's such a aggression and a He's very, very troubled, very troubled, um, you know, and you see the death in reverse here as well. Normally it signifies, you know, letting go and a rebirth. Um, he's stuck. Um, I, I say he, um, this could of course be she or whatever, um, you know, resonates with you, but they're stuck right now. Um, you know, they're not even in a space to move forward. They're stuck, there's resentment, um, there's anger, there's frustration. And like I say, there is remorse. And I know guys are telling me that you can see that, you know that there's remorse, but it doesn't make it any better. And um, what I am seeing is a complete guide for change because we come down here with you um, and, you know, you're ready with this. I mean, no easy solution exists, put it that way, you know, and all possibilities see... <sighs> All possibilities seem like a compromise, you know, the decision, decision may seem difficult and a new approach may be called for. I think you're in the space where you're, you're leaving this, you're leaving this situation because it's getting too much for you. And definitely, you know, I need to say right now, if there is violence involved, nobody should, you know, from any person, let alone that the person that loves you should endure that. So please do. Um, you know, seek help with, with this situation if you're struggling on your own. Um, I get the feeling, and, and my guides are telling me that you really are on the brim, though, of, of completely seeing this, you know. It's just, again, you, you sh I think you're stressing about how and the whys and the what-ifs, and, and there is no easy solution, but, again, um, it is a really difficult situation. That's what I'm getting, a really tough, difficult situation. Um, and again, a new approach, that's all that's coming through, a new approach is needed. And, um, you know, we often see the King of Cups, you've got the King of Cups here, when healing is required, um, you know, and, and with the Queen of Dis next to that, I'm getting a real sense and of, of the, you need to really heal and nurture yourself and, you know, start looking after yourself and the, the things around you in your home and your garden or, you know, in your space and really nurturing and getting back to kind of like that mother nature. I'm really sensing that your third eye is ready to burst open if it's not already. Um, and certainly you can use that as a way to heal yourself. Um, but yeah, we always see the King of Cups um, who presents. And, you know, in this situation, I'm actually getting a feeling that the art, there is someone around you that displays those kinds of, um, you know, characteristics of the King of Cups that definitely can help you um, heal 
and move forward. So you are going to be supported knowing that. Um, yeah, just a, a deep sense of the need to nurture right now. And then, of course, we see the fall, which is a beautiful card. It, it is the beginning. And, and one thing that we need to remember when we see this crop up, and it's very significant um, in regards to, you know, what we've just been over, is that the fall's on the start of his journey. And he doesn't yet see exactly how the path in front of him lays out. But... Um, <laughs> You just have to trust that it will be fine, and it will be fine as long as you take time to nurture, seek advice of those around you, and someone will present themselves if they're not already there. Um, this is a wonderful and can be a really beautiful beginning for you and a new time um, to really self heal. Again, up with the advice cards, Star Mother, how can you heal yourself? Um, you know, so it's just crying out for that mother nature um, and, and the mothering, sorry, side of things. But with yourself um, and your immediate space, but really with yourself. And then we've got play. Um, you know, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Um, so in the midst of all this, you know, I, I can imagine that it's all been very serious because it's, you know, your life and what's been happening with you. And certainly when it comes to matters of the heart, they sting us the hardest. Um, but it's reminding ourselves that through all this, and of course, you're about to enter that healing that's about to happen um but it's just reminding that you know you have to have fun so start getting back involved with whether it be new old hobbies or new hobbies or something that's going to make you smile the biggest thing my guide is telling me now is people people are going to make you smile so i'm getting the idea that maybe you've hermited a little bit and maybe need to go out a little bit more whether it be joining a group and you know if that's really out of your comfort zone um you've got to push yourself because you know these things are going to be good for you right now and um, in regards to the cards that we drew for you with the animal spirit cards so we've got lizard regeneration um, as a survivor you are unparalleled no matter what happens you can adapt embrace your transformation put on your new cloak you are a master of regeneration wow that's a great card this is in regards to him so that's your advice towards him and that's perfect perfect and then for yourself um in you directly nothing to do with him is the grizzly bear power um i am indestructible i honor my intuition and go where it leads love and gentleness are my real strength i never give up i will succeed so you know you've got real character and you need to find that bear and bring him to the top right now because that that characteristic that's in you is really going to help here but the biggest things that i really want to point out to you because you know if there is something going on like that and um, you just really need to remember that you are the most important thing in this world you are to you you are and you have to look after yourself and by that not only am i talking about the things that we spoke about a minute ago about nurturing yourself and so forth but that means being in a safe space, um, physically, um, your surroundings. So, you know, if that is physical and violence, you, you need, or, you know, in any sense of the word, I'm really getting the feeling that this doesn't serve you. And I think you know that anyway, but you really have to look after yourself in every sense of the imagination. Bring yourself up right now. Um, and again, I'm going to read this one because this is a love reading and this is the perfect advice about this person of yours. Um, as a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. So that's a really powerful message for you right now. And again, remember the bear inside of you. I, you know, on one side, I hope this resonates with you, of course, because, you know, I, I, that's essentially why my, what my readings are for. But at the same time... I am sending you so much love and light um, because, yeah, you, you're going through a hard time. But just know that wonderful times are ahead. Um, you're about to go through a really beautiful rebirthing. You know, we're talking about this person being stuck. You're not. And, and that's an important message my guide's telling me here. Often when we're, we're very close to somebody, um, we start to mirror them. You know, it, it's, it's 
quite it happens everywhere it's human nature you know you mirror behaviors you mirror thought patterns so really important for you to distinguish here that this person is stuck and in this mess but you are very much not you are rebirthing you know you're healing so that's not you that's just what you've been surrounded by um and yeah you've totally got this bring out that bear remember the lizard side of you you can get through this and um so much love and light right now um, wonderful. Let me know your thoughts. Do comment below. Um, I mentioned in the last video, I, you know, from my stats, I can see that there's viewers all over the world, which is quite amazing, really. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know where, where you are, you right now watching this. Um, so yeah, please comment. Um, be really nice to me, let's say to meet you, not to meet you, but you know, obviously to, um, to know who you are and yeah, sending lots of love and light. Thank you so much. Keep an eye out. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you get all my future readings. Um, I, just as a last thing, um, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I don't do um, you know paid readings anymore. Um, I just enjoy reading and it's something I love to do. But what I have decided is I'd love to grow my um, tarot collection. So um, in exchange for a private reading, I will offer um, that for um, a small donation. I've got my Amazon wish list um, down below in the comments. And if you go on to that, there's all different prices of tarot decks, um, you know, ranging from super cheap up to the big ones. Um, and, you know anything you can afford or whatever you feel appropriate for a private reading um you can send one of those but all the details are downstairs um downstairs <laughs> down in the comments anyway um wonderful again i'm sending so much love and light to you um i hope you're having oh uh, whether you are having a wonderful week is another thing but i do know that you've got a bright 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 few months ahead of you okay lots of love and light take care bye bye Hi guys, so this is for those of you that chose crystal number three. So this is your love reading and let's start with the energies of your love interest and what's happening over there and then we'll go and look at yourself and then we'll also draw some advice cards as well. The um, deck that I'm going to be using is Gateway to the Divine Tarot. I'm going to pull some of these now. And we're going to use these as a set just to look at the energies of your love interest Ooh. and then also going to pull um, lunar soul oh right and this is for some advice on yourself And then let's get a couple of advice cards. And also, guys, um, I've just been um, loaned by my sister the Spirit of um, the Animal Oracle. Um, I really love it so much. I'm going to get one for myself, but um, she's loaned me that because I've wanted one for ages so I can practice and do my readings with, um, which is very kind of her. Right, crumbling and mirror. Okay, I'm going to move these down a bit because they're a little bit high up okay interesting and now let's just draw you said beautiful oh i love them so much they're on my wish list and the universe will bring them to me soon spirit of the animals oracle so nice but i'll give these a really good shuffle they're so big and hard to shuffle so i did it beforehand because um, otherwise we'd be here for ages um <laughs> Oh, I love the puffin. Okay, so we've got puffin, and this in relation to them, and then this is in relation to you. And we've got B. Oh, I love these cards. Okay, wonderful. Let's put that there. And um, let's have a look what we've got then. Right. Right, so let's dive right in. Oh. Fierce character we're dealing with. I'm talking about you, not them. Um, right, let's start with them though. So, um, very like lustful kind of person, and um, very dreamy. Um, I feel that they're going through a real rebirth at the moment. You see that with the star, and obviously we've got the three of swords here. And um, let me just tune in with my guides. 
Yeah, so um, definitely, I think there's definitely some kind of... They've been through some real turmoil here. I mean, real turmoil in a conflict of all kinds um, with themselves. Um, and there is a rebirth starting to happen there. That's the wonderful thing. Um, a complete rebirth. Um, but there's real sadness still. A lot of sadness there, um, for sure. There's a lot of love there. I think, you know, that card and also my guides confirm that they absolutely see you as the one. And, you know, as someone, or certainly someone very serious. Um, if you're not already together, then, you know wow, they hold you in very good stead and they want you to be. And if you are, then they absolutely think you're their soulmate. And just moving on to you, and then I'll come back to that, because there's a bit more I want to say about this person. Um, but it's really to do with, with you as well. So, um, you know, you're a really cool person. I have to say that. As soon as I laid these cards, like, you know, what a great person you are. And, you know, you've got had a lot to celebrate, but you like celebrating the little things. It's not just the big things. I say big because you're used to big. And we see that here with the Emperor and the King of Dis. And, and yeah, I mean, you're pretty much the kind of person that really um, can advise others. And we're talking about on, um, on getting here on a absolute, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Um material things god i'm so sorry i'm so tired today um yeah materialistic things so you know um you, we're talking about business you're great in business you're, you're great at giving advice in that kind of area and you've succeeded or if not my god you're about to um so you're very much this independent person you, you're in the middle um, of you know stepping away from something at the moment as well and um, but you've got a lot going on in your background because it's your life and you know you run that um, and you're succeeding, you're smashing it in fact. And I think this person also, there's a little bit of like, oh, they kind of look at you and feel that they should be the one that's this, and, and they can be, but at the moment, they've just been going through the suffering. But the great thing that they are going through is this whole rebirth, and but almost on a spiritual level, which is wonderful. Um, but yeah, there's definitely so much love there. And I think you're such a strong person that you can definitely hang about. And, and, you know, I don't think this person would bring any kind of weakness. Yes, they're going through something, but um, I don't think it's something that would bring you down in any way. Um, if anything, I think that you'd be a really positive influence. And um, if we go over here, and this was, a, um, you know, your card for you, but in regards to them. And we've got the Puffin Partnership. Um, and it says, accept yourself and your colourful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Um, that's a lovely card. I love the puffins. And the advice that I'm getting here also from my guides, and that's just a kind of accelerator for it, is, you know, where it says accept yourself and your colourful personality, even though you're such a strong person, you know, it can get quite lonely at the top. And when I say at the top, whether that means... You know, the you're you know it's like incredibly smart people. Not many people think like them, so therefore they can't have that conversation. Or really wealthy people because of you know hard work and success. Um, you know, it, it's a minority, and the rest can't understand that. And in the same way with you and your successes and the kind of mind you have, um, it is quite lonely, and you still still um, lack a little bit of confidence. So I think with this person, even though ironically. They think the complete opposite about you. And you still kind of try and hold back a bit because I think you're used... To, I think you've been around idiots in the past, to be quite frank. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting through here is that you've been around idiots and they kind of bashed you and made you not be able to show your full amazingness and full light. And what I'm getting here is that you need to let that down, especially with this person, because they don't see you like that. They're in awe of you. Um, but you need to let yourself down and show them your softer side as well um, and accept yourself and your colourful personality because they love you. <laughs> so it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, and feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer, much like the Three of Cups over here. Um, and, oh, this just says it all, doesn't it, about you. This is your one, and it's be and community. So you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Oh, I love the bee. Um, absolutely right. You absolutely are the queen of abundance. Um, the biggest message that I want to portray to you um, about this card here and the message coming through is, again, 
because you can be in quite a lonely place sometimes, it's reminding us that you can ask for help and that you can be open, um, you know, to to help from others. You know, as I said, I think getting in the past um, that you've been through something with absolute dicks, if I'm being honest, and then they've, they've crumbled a bit of you. And, and that leads to this advice here, the crumbling, what are you clinging on to? Because you need to let that shit go, my friend, um, you know, and shine, shine the light that you are. Um, and also this one here, mirror, who or what is triggering you? So again, I think this is going, excuse me, <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, frog in my throat. Um, yeah, I think this definitely um, is stemming into this past um, relationship. And it's just all a reminder to not let it affect this one. Um, because this one, although it's a little bit tough at the moment, you know, they're not in the best space. Um, really bright future. And there's a lot of love there. And, you know, with you on the team, <laughs> you're going to be living a fine life if that's how you choose to, to grow in um, in profits, shall we say. Um, but, yeah, whatever you do is going to be just great. But remember to ask for help from others. Don't, you know, you don't have to be this lone ranger so much. So do reach out and ask for help. And, and let your guard down, shine bright. And then also in the background, I'm getting here, your trying is definitely saying you've got to meditate more and really take into consideration these two. Um, obviously, you two are going to be just fine, by the way. But moving that aside, you need to work on this and that's what you're clinging on to. And I'm really getting that it's a trait that you've acquired from past relationships that you need to let go of. Um, and yeah, and have a look at something that triggers that. And you need to look into that. And the best way I can um, suggest you do so is by absolutely meditating. Go into your meditation. Um, you can do guided. I think I might do a guided meditation. Um, just one that you can go into that helps you go into your safe space. But there's a lot online. So find a good meditation. Um, and we go in there and start asking yourself questions. And asking your guides questions. Um, and, and really get to the bottom of what's happening with you. Um, Nice to see that there's something, you know, they're, they're definitely scraping the barrel in um, spirituality and, um, you know, looking within themselves. So that would be a really interesting conversation for you to have with them as well. And maybe you could even get them meditating. Um, that's something that's coming through there. So, wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it resonates with you. You're in a really lovely space. The final thing here that Luchuan just wants me to remind you of, um, before we finish this up, is that you know, because of the kind of mind you have <laughs> and you're constantly looking at everything which is important, that's why you're successful, that's why you get where you are. But it's easy, it, you know, he's reminding me to let you know that you, you need to drop that with you a little bit and, you know, and let you be. Because this is a classic example. I mean, it's insight into what's happening with, with them, of course. But apart from your inner self, in regards to relationships, this is one that you don't need to question so much. Just go with and be free and all will be well. But make sure you're the authentic you within this. Authentic you. Best you out there. Amazing. Well, I hope that you're well. Sending so much love and light your way. And um, do let me know what you thought of that reading. I'd love to... I was saying earlier in my other um, crystals that it, I, I was looking at my stats and I get readers um, or viewers, rather, from all over the world. So it'd be really cool to know exactly where you are and what your name is. So feel free to comment below. Um, I'd love to hear where you're watching this from. Um, yeah, and sending you lots of love and light in this crazy time. Um, absolute madness. Um, in regards to um, sorry, private readings, I don't actually um, charge for private readings anymore, guys. Um, I've decided to just do them because I enjoy them. And what I have decided, though, is to get a small donation in exchange. Um, you can find out all the information in the comments below and on the About Me page. But I have an Amazon wish list. Um, and there's all sorts of prices. So, you know, whatever you deem worthy of a reading, um, I'm quite happy to swap a reading to build up my tarot collection um, so I can get lots of wonderful new tarot decks to keep my readings looking super fresh and cool. Um, so, yeah, that would be really appreciated. But anyway, sending lots of love and light. Remember, be yourself um, and don't be afraid to ask for help. But this is the one I'm going to leave you with because it is your love reading and you guys are lovers. Good news. Amazing. Take care, guys. Peace and love. Bye-bye.